Ahí está. Recording? Uh -huh. Good morning, Teach for Love. How are y'all doing? It's me, Mr. Galvez. I hope you've, been, hope you've been watching my videos. Today I got something really special for you. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do something with all this crazy hair Mr. Galvez has. Don't worry, I'm not gonna cut it off. But you know, the lady where I do get my hair cut, she's closed, cause everything closed. So I can't do anything with my hair other than what I'm about to do right now. We're gonna do a French braid on Mr. Galvez. So I call my hair stylist and she flew all the way from Paris, France. And I had to pay her $5,000 special quarantine fee just to come and do my French braid. So she gonna come and do it right now. Y'all can watch. I'll talk to you while it's going on. Okay, so here we go. First thing you need for a French braid is you need some long hair. If you got short hair, sorry, you're gonna have to grow it out. But guess what? It's a perfect time to let your hair grow. Cause you can't do nothing but stay in your house and let your hair grow anyway. So, so I let my hair grow uh, just cause I haven't gone to get it cut in I don't know how many months. So now it's like, it's getting to be a, a little bit of a hassle to tie it up all the time. And I just wanted to do something different. The last time I had a French braid done in my hair, I was 17 years old. My mother did it for me. And I put a, a feather in my hair as well. So I'm going to be doing that like as a separate project. I'm going to make a special Indian feather that I can tie into my hair. I'll show you how to do that. And you guys know we've studied Native Americans when it was the month of November. We talked about buffalo hunting and the very first Thanksgiving. Um, so the reason Indian warriors would tie their hair back and they would also tie the hair of their ponies so the word ponytail came from that, from tying their pony's tails so the pony's tail wouldn't be all waggling on and off. They would tie it up real tight and that way their hair wouldn't be going crazy in the middle of battle. And so Indian warriors, even the men, would tie their hair in braids. I'm doing a special kind of braid called a French braid. It just goes all down the back. So... Um, I'll show y'all how to do that feather thing once I get this done. I'll make another video all about that. And we're right here in my garden area in the backyard. We're like in the very, very back of my garden. I made this shaded area. I planted this bugambilla. You can see these pink flowers. Let me see if I can pull one up with my toe. I'm gonna use my special toe grabbing technique. Oop, that ain't it. Let's try again. Here we go. So these special pink flowers right here are the bugambilla. They're different colors. Some of them are orange, some are pink, some are white. This is really hurting my hair, by the way. If y'all see me cry, you see a man tear roll down my cheek. Don't worry, I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> it hurts, you putting my hair real tight. Um, so the bugambilla turns into this big tree almost. It's like a vine tree and it gives you a lot of shade and it looks beautiful. But it took me many, many years to grow it. So I'm under the shade of that bugambilla right now. And it litters the floor with these beautiful pink flowers. It's all over the floor. But you got to be careful because the bugambilla has very sharp thorns. So on the branches, if you just try to touch the branch, you could pinch yourself. I just pinched my foot with one of those because some of them, I cut them and they fell on the ground. They pinched my toe. So you can see my hairstylist, she's like midway through right now. And I still haven't cried no tear, but I just might because it hurts. <laughs> I'm a man. I don't cry. I never cry. Mm -hmm. What? You didn't hear that. Y'all didn't hear nothing. Man can cry too. Men can cry, yes, it's true, it's true. I cry sometimes. Uh, I have been actually, it was very sad for me the first week when we had to stay home and not go to school. It was very hard for me to deal with. And I was getting angry at everybody. I was yelling at my family and my wife and my kids. And I didn't know how to deal with it. So the way, what helped me to, to not uh, feel so angry and upset was to talk about it so I talked a lot with my wife and my kids and the most important thing we did was we prayed and we asked God to help us 
So I recommend that all families do that, that they pray with each other and they talk to each other about how they feel and what they're nervous about or anxious about. What does anxious mean, you say? Anxious is when you're worried that something's going to happen. You're not sure about what's going to happen in the future and you get all nervous about it. So sometimes we feel anxious, we feel nervous, but nobody needs to be worried because there's an old song that I used to sing in kindergarten. It goes like this. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. So that talks about how God has the whole world. He's got you and me in his hands. And this whole virus thing is under his control. So he's going to take it away from us. And he's going to heal our world. And help us to get back to, to, I guess, normal. Is there such thing as normal? Am I normal? I don't know about that, people. I can feel my French braid about to be done. There goes the tie right at the end, you see? Voila, as they say in Francais. <laughs> so you can see it goes all the way down right there. I'm gonna show you the top view. They go to top view, you can see the top of my head, back of my head. And I'll be putting a, a feather up in there. I might tie this up in a bun somehow here. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. All right, hmm? tuck it in under. Tuck it in under, okay? And then I'll put a feather in. I think I might have just messed it up. There go my five thousand dollars. Did I mess it up? No, no, not not yet. Not yet. This has been Teach for Love. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and like, cause I wanna reach a million subscribers, not subscriptors. Don't say subscriptor because I don't even know what that is. And, and it's not no one million channels either because I don't need no one million channels. That's too much work. But one million subscribers so I can get that go YouTube play button. You know we're going to reach it because we already at like 29 subscribers. We almost there. I love you guys and we'll see you for our next video on Teach for Love. Peace.